I'm in the workers' culture palace. I tried to come here a couple days ago and they closed at 3 o'clock. I think it was Friday. What's today? Tuesday? I see on Friday they were closed at 2. Uh, 3. It's weird. I went to Zhongshan Park first. They both say they're open till like late at night, but obviously not. I tried to enter earlier from up here at the West Gate. And then I walked around and I thought I could maybe try the East Gate. That was closed too. Originally the Imperial Ancestral Temple, Tiai Miao, Miao's Temple. Now protected National Historic Site, Emperors of the Ming, Qing, Dynasties, Ritual Sacrifice for Ancestors. Complete at 1420, part of Forbidden City. Was constructed together with the Imperial Palace and the Altar of Soil and Grain, which is on the other side in Zhongshan Park. Mm -mm -mm. Ancestors Temple on the left and Temple of State on the right is the old way to set it up, I guess, according to Xi'an City, uh, which set the trend for East Asian cities <clears throat> for a millennia. Temple occupies an area of 140,000 square meters, red walls, pine cypress, symmetrical glazed gate, marble bridge, halberd gate, three great halls in sequence. La la la. It's kitchen, spirit storehouse. Let's see. Floor gold brick. Base three tiered white marble. Carriageway, I guess, kind of thing. Raised up on a three base platform. They compare these areas to Forbidden City and say that they're less crowded and cheaper alternatives to Forbidden City. Both of these parks in the uh, forecourt here. So it's today the Imperial Palace uh, area, you know, the real crowded area of Forbidden City. Let's see, Chairman Mao, calligraphy, blah, 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 Beijing Working People's Cultural Palace. Open to the public. Once restricted, enclosure of the Imperial Household. They don't give a date when it was opened. Let's see, Brown's Cauldron, former sacrificial areas, Cypress, storehouses, kitchen. So, they were probably killing animals and cooking food and offering it to the ancestors, I would guess, is the idea. Similar to what was going on down at Tiantan and Xuangang in the south of Beijing. Do, do, do. Some photos over there. It's nice out today, not too hot. Yesterday I went to the Great Wall in Hubei province. Hubei. I was gonna go again today, but it wasn't a nice day. They're doing a longer trip. They leave earlier for this other trip. I don't know why they leave at 7. I was like, no way. And they're not going that far. The one today was going to Matea, I think. Which is closer than where we went to uh, Jinqing Ling yesterday. But it left earlier. It makes sense to me. Through the ages and through the seasons photos of the temple. I'm a little less frustrated with Beijing now that I took some time to look up cross-town bus routes so I don't have to rely on walking so much. After you start seeing the sights, after about a, you know, I noticed a pattern. After about a week of being in a city, I start to get real agitated because I've seen most of the, the sights in between areas. And then it gets real inconvenient to walk in between these uh, cities that are based after Xi'an, like Tokyo and Beijing. Their metro system has to go around the palace at the center of the city. So it gets real annoying if you've seen everything that you can walk to en route. You say, ah, Christ, I wish I could take a cross-town bus, but it's a complete mystery to me. But if you invest a little bit of time in like half a dozen major bus routes and which way they go, well, then you can uh, figure out
how to get around on accesses that are in between the metro stops. The buses actually are usually pretty fast unless it's rush hour. Like I said, the minibus we took that was chartered by the hostel to Hubei province took three hours. There was an extra half hour at least getting back through traffic at the end of the trip. Sacred <gasps> Cyprus, Ming Emperor Chengju. <laughs> Temple completed, planet. Cyprus is all around the compound. Mingqing emperors would descend from their palanquins in front of the street and enter three halls on foot. Corner, northeastern corner of Forbidden City became known as Shatan, the beach, because of the soil moved there. But we're at the southeast corner. It's not making sense. I think they mistranslated it. I think they mean the southeast corner. How do I get into this place? So I guess that's the sacred one there with the little stone fence around it. Chinese wisteria. I think there's basically two kinds of wisteria, Chinese and Japanese. I see you. I caught him on camera sleeping. That guy too. They think nobody notices, but I got it all on video. I guess I go in this way. Eighty-one knobs on that door if you counted. Doesn't seem like it, right? Seems like there'd be less. Glaze gate. Yellow glazed tiles for the emperor. Green glazed brackets. Vermilion wall. Graceful and magnifico. It is pretty, isn't it? It's very well kept up. I'm impressed. It's kind of daunting when you first come to this area. These cauldrons would have held water for fire to put out fires. It's kind of daunting when you first get here because there's so many processional gates. Lotuses are all dead and gone. Missed them. I went to Europe in August. That's when they were all out, late July, August. Bridge of Halberd Gate. Seven single arch stone bridges spanning Gold River before Halberd Gate. White marble guardrails, dragons and phoenixes, symbols of the Empress and Empress, Emperor and Empress, Yin Yang. Middle bridge for the Emperor, both sides for princes, officials, ordinary people, reflecting feudal hierarchy. Sometimes the middle bridge is not even for the Emperor but for the gods. Depends on where you are. So, Yin, the female, is the phoenix. And then Yang, the male, is the dragon. The dragon. Dragon is long. Right? 
halberd gate. Single eave hip roof, yellow glazed tiles, 1420. Sumeru base, vermilion path. I think I should probably be using my umbrella. It's somewhat bright out. There are 120 golden dragon halberds, red handles, silver end caps mounted, eight red lacquer racks outside and inside the gate in accordance with its status as the highest grade ceremonial gate before they were pillaged by the eight power allied force that invaded Beijing 1900. There were 120 gold dragon halberds with red handles and silver caps on eight lacquer, lacquer, red lacquer racks outside and inside the gate. Hmm. So they had like red poles and gold instead of like steel or iron tips. They were gold, the halberd tops, and the racks were made of red lacquer. So it was all ceremonial. But when uh, the Boxer Rebellion happened, they snatched them. There's some Duguang brackets, corbelled brackets called Duguangs. They help transmit the load between the uh, lintel and the overhanging eave. They're a complex system of interlocking brackets. So you're essentially getting a little mini imperial forbidden city here without the crowds, I think. Good place to come do your wedding photos, huh? That lady's in a cheap house style wedding dress and the other one's got more traditional white dress. A lot of brides wear red in China, I've noticed because it's associated with good luck and, and uh, fortune, money, I think. Money, money, money. I see another bride over there. Third bride, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I see seven brides. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine brides. I see nine brides. Ten. Ten brides. I see ten. Up, oh, another on the stairs. Eleven. I see eleven brides. I don't know if they're all getting married or they're just doing some kind of model thing, modeling shoot. Seems like an awful lot of brides, doesn't it? On the fifth day of Christmas, Santa gave to me a dozen cheap owl brides. Four Chiang Psalms, two wedding dresses. I should go to the silk market later. Sacrificial Hall. <laughs> Ming Qing Emperor's ceremonies for offering sacrifices to the ancestors. Wonder if they have those wood tablets inside. Black with nine dragons, gilded words, Tia Miao, Imperial Ancestor Temple. In Chinese and Manchu, 11 bays wide, six deep, tri tiered, Sumero base, white marble, gold plate on the beams, gold brick on the floor, 68 columns. Main beams are made of gold and silk, nanmu wood, 
making it the largest extant palace with such wood in China. Qing Dynasty Imperial Sacrificial Ceremonies were held here in the first month of the Four Seasons, respectively. At the end of every year, and for such great events as marriages, funerals, accession to the throne, assuming power, conferring nobles or wars, the hall is furnished with thrones for the emperor and empress, which are painted with golden lacquer, carved dragons and phoenixes, and with incense burner tables and offerings. At the end of the year, the ancestors' sacrificial tablets would be moved from the resting hall an ancestral shrine to this hall before a grand ceremony was held. Okay. So they do have the little thingies. The tablets. Classical music, drums, bells, ritual dances. Manister stand at attention. It was a spectacle. Imagine the pageantry. Imagine the commotion. Sacrifice. It's the same thing we just read. See, why was this closed at 3 on a Friday? Hello? Hello. Fifteen. I have to buy again? How much? Fifteen. Wow. Fifteen? Yeah. Student? Student? No? better be worth my two dollars and fifty cents. Huh. I want my two dollars. Maybe instead of selling me the student ticket at the front, she was giving me the, uh, what do you call it? Instead of the through ticket, she just gave me a ticket to the park, I bet. So it ended up costing me more in the end. That lady, when I first walked in, was trying to get me to go in the art museum. <laughs> I, I took, I turned my head and looked. <laughs> and rolled my eyes, it was a shop. You come, art museum. Two turtle doves. Now I got that in my head. It's better than the other song. They're playing this song every morning at breakfast they had country western music at the hostel's uh, little restaurant next door. And uh, after like a couple weeks, I was in my sleep hearing, hearing it. Same songs over and over. The last cheater's waltz. It's like the weirdest thing to be having in your head in China. To the last cheater's waltz. They kept playing that over and over again at breakfast every day. I think some of the other tourists are getting annoyed too. Some guys came in this morning. They're young guys like me and they're like, uh, can you make it a little quieter in here? Because like today they're playing some kind of rock music. And it's like first thing in the morning. And it's like all being upbeat. And it's like, I appreciate it, but you do realize you're playing awful music. 
they do it in the evening too. They're playing music and their place is like empty. And I'm like, you think it probably has something to do with your like awful music that you're pumping at an ungodly decibel. No one wants to sit through that and try to have an ex overpriced expensive meal on Nam Lugu, you know. Plus there's no air conditioning. So, there are two types of music uh, instruments that you usually see. The ones here made of stone, and the ones made of bronze. <laughs> the ones made of bronze, I know, are usually two tones, and you can get from striking it on the top or bottom. So, for each one of these, you're getting two. So, in a huge thing like this, I assume you're getting a lot of different combinations. I'd love to hear one of these played. I don't know if I could put in Zhang. I think it's called a, a Zhang. Z-H-E-N-G. Or a Zhang. Z-H-A-N-G. Put that in YouTube and see if it comes up if somebody's playing it. I went to the musical Oriental Musical Instruments Museum in Shanghai. And... Uh, they had a lot of samples, but they didn't have anything of that. So here's looks like primitive style tempo. Primitive style tempo. And people living in villages. Surrounded by moats. Because it's a tempo. Jun, wine vessel, incensario. Some monks here, offerings. Emperor and his ancestors. Another emperor. Because only the emperor can wear imperial yellow. That's how you know the, uh, it's the emperor. Wearing the dragon yellow robe. The emperor perform ancestral rites here. Ancient times, evolution, Dai Fang Ji, big house, primitive society, Dian Tong, palace hall, and Xia, Shang dynasties, to the establishment of the Tia Miao, Western Zhou dynasty, i.e., so called Juju, Joju, Yu Shi. Ancestral temple on left, altar of land and grain on the right. The Tiai Miao, through the ages, followed the Zhou system in the main, up to the Ming Qing dynasty that was being perfected. Built in 1420, the Tiai Miao in Beijing consists of three compounds. Xiangdiang, hall for worship of ancestors. Qindian, hall of worship for imperial ancestral tablets. And they have one of those over at the Tian Tan, a Chindian. And Tiai Miao, Hall for Worship of Imperial Remote Ancestor Tablets. Three ways for offering sacrifices in year. Shi Xiang, ceremony held for six months of the four seasons. Di Xia, sacrifice made once every five years. And Jian Xin, to offer sacrifices with new grains and fresh fruits, the Qing Dynasty continued to use the Ming system, except that the single eave tip roof of Xiangdian became a double eave one, and that the above mentioned three sacrificial ways turned into four Shi Xiang, Jianjin, Xin, Gao Ji, ceremonies for great national events, and Xia Ji, ceremony held at the end of the year. map. You can see the city walls. Originally Tiananmen Square wasn't a square. It was this long corridor like you have over at uh, Tiantan that extended out from the Imperial City to the front gates. 
Jian Man area. So this is the evolution over time. I don't know if they're trying to say this is all here in Beijing or just in other sites as evidence to other sites around China, the evolution of this type of hall. I guess they're showing it here. That's been in this place for a long time. So here we are looking at Forbidden City and we're in this area over here. This is Workers Cultural Palace. This is Zhangshan Park. And, and this is Tiananmen Gate and then there's a couple more gates you have to go through to actually get in to the Forbidden City here. And most of the Forbidden City is closed off to tourists. You're allowed to kind of do this. You go in, you circle over to the front here, come back, go up here, circle around, you can exit the south or come around here, there's some stuff over here, then exit the east. I haven't done it yet, so I'm not that familiar with what's to see there. This is their well-stocked gift shop. Spare no expense. I haven't looked up yet at the ceiling. Rare to see an unpainted ceiling like this. They've got the other bays here painted. To the last traitor's waltz. <laughs> God. So I think maybe there's a couple more halls here that I can go through and I'll exit. I want to get on the two bus. So I guess it'd be cool to link up here. And then I gotta walk out there. I'll go back down and get on the two bus here. At uh, Tiananmen Dong. Tiananmen East. To the last traitor's waltz. I got that locked. I didn't look at this painting. They've got a dragon in the clouds or what? To the last cheater's waltz. Now I've got it back in my head. I was I didn't want to say it earlier. I didn't want to repeat it because I thought it would get in my head. It's like so annoying. You ever notice how whiny country music is? Country music is like my husband left me. Now I'm alone. <laughs> to the last traitor's waltz. Oops. Sorry. Oh, let me shall I tell ya? Photograph. It's a good day to do photographs because you don't have to squint in the bright sun. To the last traitor's waltz. Come 
<laughs> What's in this museum? Her gift shop, I bet. Storeroom. It's nothing special. <laughs> to the last cheaters waltz. God. Imagine that being in your head while you're like trying to sleep. That's how they torture people, like people they want to get out of their compound, like Noriega there. They just played like some song over and over again. <laughs> Drove them insane. You don't want to come out? You will. <laughs> oh, you want to stay in your palatial compound? We'll get you out of there. Filthy windows. <laughs> that was a juicy fart. <laughs> I caught that guy on camera. Ancestral Shrine, also called Back Hall. You know it would be funny to have a ringtone that sounds like a fart? And then people would <gasps> they'd look around at you and then they'd hear it again and realize it's a ringtone. <laughs> also called Back Hall. This hall houses the sacrificial tablets of the imperial ancestors. Built in 1491, the fourth year of the Hongji in the Ming Dynasty, it has a single eave hip roof covered with yellow glazed tiles. Nine bays wide, four bays deep. Same way resting hall. Qing Dynasty housed tablets of the four ancestors. Zhaozhu, Middle Era, Jingzhu, right, Xingzhu, and Xianzhu, left. First month of each season, Emperor would order officials to offer sacrifices here. End of the year, tablets would be moved to Sacrificial Hall for the sacrificial ceremony. Hall is in courtyard circled by red walls. There used to be an iron furnace in the southeastern corner for burning sacrificial silk. I think that a lot of those sacrifices that have to be offered to temples was like the people who ran the temple's clever way of getting a nice big bowl for themselves to feast on after everybody left. Sure, we'll sacrifice this for you and slit the throat, let it bleed out. Okay, we're done. Then they haul it off around back, chop it up, cook it up. Right? That's what I would do. Yummy, yummy. You don't got to do anything. They bring the bull to you, and they're happy. They're happy to give it away for free. That's the sign of a, of a real con man, you know? A real hustler. You gotta have the people walk away happy. That's why religion's such a good scam. So I tried to enter from the gate over there to the left the other day. And they was closed. They was closed. So you can get tickets there, you can get tickets there. You could take us where I came in down there. Those sons of bitches. Now it's one o'clock. I don't want to go to Imperial City. It's probably a good day for it though. It's not super duper hot. It looks doesn't look too crowded. But I think I'll just make a little cross section here for my own purposes, and I'll walk out the way I came in is the easiest thing to do, I bet.